thing. Enhance in enhancements, if you want to enhance a particular program, let's say there is a program, standard program, and in this standard program, you would like to add some new functionality using the exits. See, baddies is different. Business addings, the methodology will be different, but here exits is different. So in the exits, what we'll do is we will first search for a particular concept called the call customer hyphen function. So we will search for this. Now call function is a normal one. Call customer hyphen function is what we'll search in the program. We'll see that. And this in this we'll have a we'll, we we can find a function module. And inside that function module we'll have a Z include. Now in inside this we can actually do the coding. Okay, so we can do the coding, and after doing the coding, what what has to happen? I'll, I'll, I'll explain you. But before that, let me first log in into the system and just show you that. So let's say I take up a, a, a transaction code which we are well aware of MK01. So MK01, as we all know, is used for creation of a vendor. And now, let's say in this, you would like to add some new functionality. For example, just say let's say you have to. You know, uh, when there is unsaved data in that particular transaction code, uh, it needs to be saved in some Z table. Now, let's say you have given some details like this, um, say one nine zero something, and uh, you have given this triple zero one and triple zero one. So you, you are giving this vendor number, purchase action uh, account two, and after that you are not proceeding further. You are not going ahead further. So then, what will happen here? Um, this data that you give in the first thing will not be saved anywhere. But just in case, if you want it to be saved somewhere, if you want that to be saved somewhere, then we have to go ahead with that. Now let's say you have entered this data, but you are quitting this screen. I mean, like you are not saving anywhere. So half filled data is not saved anywhere. So you want it to be saved in a Z table. Then, if that's the case of scenario, of course, we need to write the logic in the table program that 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 stays behind this uh, screen. So for that, what we'll do is we'll go ahead with the system and status. We'll go ahead with system status, and in the system status, we can see the program name. So whatever is the program name that we have behind the screen will be visible when you do it in the system status. So here you can see the program name SAP MF zero two K. Either you can open it or you can double click on it. So once you double click on this uh, program name, it goes inside the program. This is an SAP standard program. So if you have to find out if there is an exit option given in this program, you can just Search okay. So for search, you have to click on this find button, and you have to write call customer hyphen function. Call customer hyphen function. Now in this call customer hyphen function is already visible there. Double click on this double zero one, and inside this double zero one. Inside that double zero, uh, we have a function model. Inside the function model source code, if you see, there is an include program. So if you double click on this include program, you can, if it is already existing, if that if, if that uh, program already exists, it exists, then you can see the code here. Otherwise, what will happen is you have to go to SC thirty eight and create your own uh, Z program. So you have to copy this include program name. You have to copy this include program name and uh, go to the SC thirty eight and create a Include program name with this name, so that the moment once you once you create it and activate it here, automatically it will, it will get linked. And in this, you can write whatever logic that you want to write for for this to work for that particular screen. Okay, so here we can write the logic to save the data somewhere. This is what we have. So what have we done? What what we have done? Let me just once like quickly re, uh, you know rewind. So what we did is we went into MK01 transaction, or it can be any other transaction, and we went into the system and uh, went into the transaction. Go to, went to the system status, and in the system status you can see the program name. Double click on the program name, and then you get into the program. Here you have to search for call customer hyphen function, and if it is there, it means that 
you can go ahead with the exit. If you don't don't have this call customer hype function by default given by SAP, you cannot use exits for this program. So only when this is provided to you, you can give it. So if you double click on that, it will it will take you to the function model. Inside the function model, you have to go and write the logic in the include. Yeah, this is what is the path. So you can just have a quick look at it and we can write that logic. So what is the logic that we are already written here is that you are you are selecting the data here. Double click on this, and this is the 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 uh, you know the concept that we have already maintained here is that uh, we are actually trying to get the telephone uh, TLF one from this LF one into V underscore one. So we are just checking if the telephone number is there. If the telephone number is not there, then what we are doing is we are uh, you know we are triggering a, a message saying that the telephone number, duplicate phone number are not allowed for the vendor. So what we are telling the system is if if there is a particular telephone number is already existing in the in the in the system, then same telephone number cannot be cannot be used for two different vendors. That's what is the, the that's what is the logic that we have maintained here. You can just uh, you know I'll share this code with you. You can just try it out in your uh, system and then you can find out. So the main purpose of this like writing this code is the system will check whether that same number is already been there in the for any other vendor. So what what we are trying to set the rule is the rule here is that two vendors cannot have the same telephone number. You have to have a different telephone number. So that's the logic here we have written, and this can be implemented for this particular program. So this is an exit. So this is only one part of it. Once you have completed uh, doing this, you have to then go to the CMO transaction and. So we have here, uh, let me So there are very two very important two different transaction codes that we are going to make use of. The function module that we have now built, I mean like the function module in which we have written the code in the include program needs to be linked to a enhancement. So the function module needs to be uh, you know linked to enhancement and then this enhancement has to be linked to enhancement has to be linked to the project. So we have two steps that we have to do here. These are two mandatory steps that we have to do. One is link the function model with enhancement and enhancement with the enhancement with the project. So these are the two different things that we have to happen: S mode transaction and C mode transaction. So in the S mode transaction, we have to go ahead and. Uh, Link the function model with the enhancement and CMO transition, we have to link this enhancement with the product. So, these are the two 